This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. All right, so we got Fannie Willis. She calls it the extreme heat wave operation where she's reduced um, crime in Atlanta. Well, that's really because the police are actually doing their job versus many other um states you know or, or cities i should say like uh, la seattle uh you know places like that where the police aren't doing anything nobody's getting arrested uh you know once the police start doing their job again uh you know people get arrested and crime goes down you know facts i wouldn't say it's because of her arresting young thug i'm gonna be honest with you uh 50 cents suspect in uh, criminal battery after throwing the mic and hitting a fan. People react to this, okay? Like, people in the comments are saying, Hey, <laughs> I've never understood throwing things and breaking stuff that's not mine. What is he, a six-year-old? Someone says, uh, I want to live in a world where no celebs are clowns. All they care about is collecting money and treating people like a fool. Uh, the second one might could have killed somebody. This is dumb. When you're rich and act like this and really uh, don't care about your money, she will take money from 50 Cent and get paid well. Now, 50's lawyer responded to this. So let's be clear. I told LAPD this afternoon my client would never intentionally strike anyone with a microphone. Anyone saying differently doesn't have... The facts are misinformed. Uh, the power producer is currently criminal subject of battery investigation. Yeah, that was uh, that was bad. Okay, uh, nobody should get injured going to a Fifty Cent concert. I'm gonna be honest with you, but uh, we'll see. He should apologize though. Um, Natalie Nunn. The delusional girl on Zeus uh, calls out Charlemagne, saying they canceled the interview when she w she was in town and demanded to go up there, and they already you know they had didn't have her on the schedule, so they said no, not you know you have to schedule something. So you know Charlemagne responds. Now Natalie Nunn is nuts, bro. Like uh, she's screaming and hollering in her hotel room. We not on the same level. But you said, oh, you and your loud mouth, big chin, big chin, big chin, big bank accounts, big money, Zeus Network, Charlamagne. Yeah, she's um, delusional. <laughs> That's what she is. Uh, Charlamagne is, you're not in anywhere near Charlamagne's level. You haven't built anything. We just heard about you a year ago. Um, Ariana Grande is leaving Scooter Braun Management Company, Hybe. A lot of people are uh, leaving Scooter Braun all of a sudden. It's interesting. I don't know if Justin Bieber officially left yet, but man, uh, a lot of people are leaving him. I wonder what's going on. Uh, 1090 Jake wears a t-shirt with Boston Richie on it. says, F your favorite rapper. And it shows him in an interrogation room. Boston Richie's a clown, bro. I've pretty much determined that now. It's like, Boston Richie is a clown. Um, 1090 Jake exposed him. And, I don't know. <laughs> Birdman, I guess he's getting on uh, Little Uzi's album. He's in studio with them, and they got this, uh, what is it, Barter 16. I don't agree with this because Barter 16, even though you're paying homage to Young Thug, when he did the Barter series, it was almost like clowning Lil Wayne for the Carter series. You know, it was like, eh. even though Young Thug looked up to him, it's still like the premise of that. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways. Diddy turns down multi-million dollar offer. Uh, instead, gifts all of his artists their publishing back. 
Mm, well, sounds good, but you know, most labels won't take a piece of your publishing. You have your publishing and you'll do a publishing deal with somebody else. Diddy would snatch up your publishing in the beginning for a very, very small amount and take advantage of you. Um, he's not giving them their masters back. He's giving them their publishing back. That's like something they should have had back already. You know, it's like, this isn't like a, yeah, he could have sold it too. And that would have been a real low down, <clears throat> excuse me. That would have been a real low down thing to do. Anyways, this is Jordan Tao with JT News. I appreciate you all. And I'll check you guys in the next one. Please smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, leave a comment. Uh, YouTube is not being so favorable to, with me with the new algorithm, so I need a little help. Um, if you're having trouble getting notifications, resubscribe and hit the bell. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.